All right, bring it in, bring it in, Reno Jackson Warlock again. Yeah, it's pretty fun. It's been a long time since I played with Reno. Actually, I didn't play with Reno when it first came out too much because I was too excited about playing with Mechter at that time. But right now, Reno looks pretty good. So check out the games. All right, game number two. Warrior. I feel like Warrior is a favorable match just unless it is a Pirate Warrior. That means I do want to keep on to my AoE card. These are pretty good pickups. Or I guess there's a chance that this isn't Pirate Warrior since he doesn't have a turn one play. That means it's Super Control. Super Control I definitely have an advantage with Lord Draxus. That's a Fire War Axe. Lots of attack to face. There's probably no point in me putting down Dark Peddler. I could coin out a f Imp Game boss. I do have a lot of cards, so I think coining it out is not too big of a deal. And he did attack my face, so I feel like <laughs> I definitely need to contest the board. Yeah, skadiddle. Don't worry, loves. The cavalry's here. Hopefully, I get some kind of one damage spell. Morikoyo, no. Oh, that is one damage. Should I play it though? Probably, yeah, yeah. Seems pretty neat to me. P -p -p patches! How ironic. I'm <laughs> playing against an aggro warrior and I got patches. Next turn, the uh, Kazakus would be very useful. I should be able to contest this rather nicely. Five cost spell, give him some health. Or I'll take Fell Bloom. I guess Gold Thorn will be the nice one to grab. Unfortunately, I didn't get healing. I, I do have the board presence, so I think as long as I can get to Reno Jackson, I should be doing fine. Actually, now I think about it, that was definitely really counter to that. I'm dealing four damage to all minions, so I'm actually destroying my board. This board in particular, I guess. Heroic Strike, not this time. Bash, okay. Don't really want to tap. Bran, I will use with the Earthen Rearing Farseer for 6 health. Hopefully, he doesn't have enough damage by next turn. But, you know, seems okay. Divine Spirit, Cult Sorcerer. That would be useful with a Mortar Coil, actually. So, just drop that. He forfeited a board, so he must have some kind of play with damage out of hand. Well, that is damage off hand. Mm, yeah, yeah, it is. I guess drawing with a mortar coil is not that big of a deal right now. Just want to get out of healing just in case, you know, play it a little bit safe. It's quite unlikely that he'll be able to deal 7 damage. Well, I guess it's actually not that unlikely. <laughs> But I need to get Reno. If I get Reno, then I win. Mistress of Mixtures will also be pretty useful. Another Bash? Okay. I feel like Bash is kind of a weird inclusion. Oh, so be it. So be it. Should I draw just to get a Reno Jackson sooner? <laughs> Aw, uh, he just needs to pick up 6 damage. Oh, I think I stepped for lethal. Yeah, so I got lethal. You can't outrace me. You can't outrace me. I should have traded in the brand, I made a mistake! Oh jeez, I forgot that the double bile card. Well considering a new Highlander card, you definitely want to construct spells that give you the AoE effect because at 5 mana, I mean usually you want to create a 5 mana spell because you know 10 mana is a little bit too too specific. But anyway with 5 it's a lot more flexible and really powerful because 5 mana you definitely want to get the 4 damage AoE to everything because that's a really great AoE spell. 
And you know what, if you can get it, you want to get some healing or develop some minion because you want to develop such a, it can develop such a huge temple swing. Unfortunately, you don't see the greatest spells that come out in this gameplay, but usually it can be really great. <laughs> Man, can't really do much about that. Alright. I feel like Thrall I'm actually favorite against because I have so much AoE that I can deal with his stuff. Oh, uh, Fellfire Potion. Fellfire Potion Potion unfortunately doesn't actually deal with a uh, Thunderbolt Valiant, which makes it a little bit weaker than I would like. Lord Drax is not a useful pickup. Doomsayer is pretty good. I'll drop it against a Trog. I don't know if I'll coin it out though. Hopefully, he just drops like a uh, Totem Golem. Oh, well, this is probably Jade Golem. Shaman, which is a hope because it's a lot weaker. Oh, he knows what's up. Just playing the totems. I'll just tap here into more options. Girl spirits, that means he should have a really tough time dealing with Dooms here. So either he has... Well, he's going to play like a fire flame ton totem. Then I can use the hellfire to remove the board, so that's okay. Oh, huh, okay. But he is restricting his next turn, so I feel okay about this. <laughs> Should I use a Hellfire here? I do have a Twisted Nether eventually, but that is in three turns. But I guess getting rid of the board here is not bad. Because I don't really have any perspective plays, so I feel like that is a pretty good choice. Tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-tap-